Hello everybody, welcome back and the roof is looking pretty awesome and we're going to get into that on today's video, uh, day 16 and 17. Okay, so prior to uh, the whole Tesla Energy team coming out to install the skylights, we received notification that they were finally in. Uh, the supplier of the skylights finally got the skylights together and actually sent them to Tesla, which is great because, well, a roof needs skylights. Well, at least ours does. So now that they had them, they could actually spend the time to finish the roof because that's what this roof was waiting on, was getting those two in so that they could finish all of the metal work and uh, the glass work around there because, you know, all those tiles are glass because the solar tiles had already been finished uh, the previous week. Uh, so with that, they came over on day 16 and they, you know, they worked on the metal and just trying to get uh, these skylights to fit uh, the best they could. Uh, you know, all the metal around them has to be custom bent uh, to your skylights and uh, just the size of the skylight. Um, I did find out, uh, interestingly enough, that the size of these skylights uh, are, are not a, st they're not a standard size. So uh, that may have been part of the delay because this is not a generic size they fit into houses. It's, it's more of a custom uh, size. Uh, I did not realize that, but uh, that is uh, the case. So after they did all that metal work, uh, it was time to start trying to fit up the skylights. Uh, you know, they started doing uh, the rest of the glass around here. Uh, you know, they put the skylights on, see how things fit, you know, take them off. A lot of adjustments, a lot of, of work being done. Uh, it was quite impressive. And uh, overall, I think the result uh, is pretty great. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, they look nice. Uh, they are actually slightly bigger than the original skylights. So now on the inside of my house, we actually have this really cool like um, endless skylight effect where the skylight doesn't look like it meets uh, the top of the, uh, I guess top of the wall. So it looks like it just kind of like keeps going into the horizon. I'll have to, I'll have to show you a, a video hopefully of what it looks like from the inside of the house. It's, it's pretty wild. Uh, what they also did uh, during those two days, uh, they went around and tried to clean up as many of the tar spots and just uh, like debris and stuff that was on the roof. Most of it was uh, tar related from the Firestone because you know, a little piece will get on, on you know, somebody's shoe and then next thing you know, a couple panels now have little specks of tar on them. So uh, they were actually on all of the roof. This roof, the back roof, the side roof here. Uh, they went and were, were spraying all these different spots down and, and scrubbing them off to get them nice and clean so that when you look at the roof, when the sun is shining on it, you don't see an odd spot that just sticks out because it has some tar or just some residue on it. So pretty cool uh, that you know Tesla takes the time to actually go in and make sure that everything's cleaned up properly, as it should be. But, uh, you know, <laughs> you don't really get that kind of job sometimes when you get a regular roof done. I, I know I've seen cases where things are left on the roof and uh, then you gotta go and figure that out afterwards. So overall it's really cool having this roof done and uh, going back to when I was talking in the other video about getting inspected and then putting us on hold because this wasn't finished. Ah, while this was getting done, the town conveniently decided that, oh, your roof is approved because you didn't need a permit in the first place. So I'm pretty sure Tesla reached out and talked to them about that saying, hey, uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, our part, the electrical part is done. The part that you're supposed to be verifying is finished. Uh, the, the rest of the roof being finished or not is not, not important to your certification of this. So that's approved now and uh, tomorrow or so the electric company is supposed to come out and actually check it out. So I'll have to give you guys an update when we actually get turned on and kind of see, uh, I don't know, what kind of numbers we're, uh, we're bringing in here. I can't wait. This is going to be so exciting. Um, this is a pretty short video. but. You know, the main focus was, well, getting these uh, skylights in, and it's finally done. We're moving along with the check, uh, the checks. Uh, 
state checks, which I'm going to be covering because there's state and federal rebates that are coming in already. That's pretty cool. The town gave us the green light check mark and now we're just waiting on the electric company to give us their seal of approval and then we'll be checking out the power it creates you know lots of checks so thank you so much for watching i'm really excited about this if you can't tell and uh hope to see you guys next time uh if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and as always have an excellent day